Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we will be finishing the interior of our day van. So today I'm going to be finishing the rear interior of our day van. First of all what I need to do is I need to get this unit installed, get all the electrical stuff hidden away in the two cupboards. Originally I was going to build one, however I found this one on eBay for about 50 quid. And th for that price, it probably would have cost me the same in materials, and this probably has a better finish. So what I need to do is I need to rearrange the electrical installation that I'd already done. I've already disconnected everything, hide it away into these two cupboards, and then I can just get onto the little finishing touches. Right, so as you can see, I've already roughly built this unit. I just need to apply the doors. And then as soon as I've done that, I can then start to put all the electrical system in, and then I know where everything's going to sit. With the doors now on, I can see where everything's going to sit. I know how far I can go out before hitting these brackets with the inverter and things like that. So now, first of all, what I'm going to do is rearrange all the wiring. Hopefully, get everything in its in its correct position, and then I can screw it all together. Well, the electrical equipment is all installed into that one cupboard which is fantastic so I've got a whole cupboard here now I can use for storage what I need to do now is I need to install this switch panel I've already done an outline here because I'm going to put it up here now um, I've already refed the wires back through so what I need to do is cut this panel out screw that in and then wire these back up inside the back of the van <laughs> The electrical installation is now completely installed with this lovely cabinet. Um, as you can see, I've now rewired up the switch panel, gives me my voltage. I've got a couple of USB sockets there. The lights now come on and off again, and everything has managed to fit into this one cupboard down here, which is absolutely fantastic. So that means I now have another cupboard here, and I've got a couple of shelves so I can still put stuff in. Um, as you can see, inverter all powers up nicely, turns the radiator on. So there we go, that is the electrical installation in this van now complete. So there's still a few things I want to get done before I can class this interior as complete. Next of all is covering the front of the bed. Now I'm going to reuse the reclaimed pallets that I've got and I'm going to completely cover the face of the bed. I only want the front done because I'll be able to open the rear doors and store duvet, pillows and everything underneath the bed from outside there. So my plan for the face of the bed is to basically clad it with some of the reclaimed pallet wood that I've got. What I've done is I've done a nice little cut in between and given it a kind of a, a joining look, just done a bit on the back, and then I've got some normal long strips. So a bit like you would do with a wooden flooring where you've got the different lines. So that'll sit like this. Like so. And then what I've done is for the top piece, I've cut a handout so that you can slide the bed like that so I'm just now going to screw them to the frame and then I've got a little extension lead here but what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the end off and I've got a double plate fascia with USB sockets I'm going to cut the hole out and pop it there so that when we're in bed you just use USBs and charge your phone yeah, I need you to stay right there so 
So there we go, with that side all screwed together, I'm now gonna mock up the hole for this. Like I say, put it about there, and pop that into the bed, and then I'll cut the end of that extension lead off, wire it into the back of that, and then we'll have a nice double socket with twin USBs to use. So there we go, with this side panel all now completed and the lovely double plug, double USB slot socket all attached. Couldn't be more pleased with that, I think that's brilliant. Now I just need to move on to the other side, get that all buttoned up and then that's the bed done. second section of the bed now complete I'm really happy with how everything's turned out as far as I'm concerned the bed is now completed I really like the rustic look and I'm hoping that the modern and the rustic will all go together once it's all in next of all I've got a couple of panels here which are still the old white and are visible so I've still got plenty of paint from the exterior of the van I'm now going to go over those white bits in that paint and then I've got some plastic coving which will go to the top edges of the bodywork to hopefully just cover up any gaps that we've got I'm coming home So I've now painted all the bodywork that was still remaining on the interior. As you can see, I think it's a really nice finish. Now, as I said, you can still see some insulation and stuff that was poking up down that side there. So what I've done is I've done a trial test fit of some of this coving that I've bought. And I think that really finishes it off. So what I'm gonna do now is carry on along the other sides and then along that side as well. Life took us far apart, but it never took away my heart. Have you been holding it safe? Cause it's been hard. You know I want it safe. So there we go, another nice little finishing touch applied to this side. That cleans up really nicely. I'm really pleased with the result. Now I just need to do the other side. I'm coming home to you I'm coming home to you I'm coming home to you And I know that it's not all with you But I'm coming home I'm coming home so there we go, the day van interior is now complete and I'm over the moon with how everything's finished. I think it looks absolutely fantastic, got the TV up, everything working, as you can see this is a brilliant addition because bedtime and tilt it towards the bed and then during the day if F1's on for example or even live timings we can hold the screen out like that and you can just see it through the doorway. I didn't imagine it coming out quite as good as this and I'm really really pleased with how the finish looks. Please let me know what you think in the comments below please like and subscribe. But for the day van, that's everything. Thank you very much for watching this series. See you in the Clio.